How's it going guys? It's Poetry Subtle. Welcome back to another episode of the Monks and Mystics campaign in Crusader Kings 2. I was going to say EU4. I've been playing so much of that game recently. Uh, yeah, welcome back to episode 2. Um, again, uh, press code, press review copy of Monks and Mystics provided early by Paradox, which I am very grateful for. Um, but also, just you know, keep in mind... I try to give an honest opinion on things, even though, well, honestly, we're not, well, we're not supposed to review it anyways, and I'm not really reviewing it, but, um, but, you know, if I, if I praise the expansion, just know that they gave me the code just for disclosure reasons, but honestly, you know, don't, don't worry about it too much. Um, but that's all they've given me, basically. Anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, continue where we left off. We had just been actually contacted by a member of the Lucifer's own Satanist cult, <laughs> which is um really interesting so let's go ahead and just continue and see what happens um what is this okay brother alberto azzo we have received word of your dedication and desire to join the legion of the true lord await the messenger the count of box hungry interesting cool so my maybe he oh I met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently, this Niku is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in conversation for the first time. Okay. And I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Iblis. She's the messenger of Baalbek. The Sheikah of Baalbek. She's a theologian. She's lustful and okay oh artifacts that's really interesting and she is sunni huh okay let's see what happens all right the abjurer smiles i'm pleased to find you are not only a charming man but also one capable of intellectual discourse the brethren value the pursuit of knowledge you see in addition to more earthly pursuits her smile returns into a predatory grin as she continues We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. Alright, so she takes me by the hand. What happens? She escorts you to the bedchamber. Okay. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison. Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure. These are the gifts of Iblis. Okay. I like the sound of that. You partake in the ritual. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone, and she is laying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. So we had like a satanic sex ritual is what you're telling me. Welcome to Lucifer's own, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. Okay, so we, uh, we can like say it was a necessary evil, which is kind of ironic since it's about evil, isn't it? Um, who is our wife anyways? She's 49. She doesn't like me. I will say that she's two by the books, you know. <laughs> okay, to role play it. Uh, cool. Oh my God! Look at that. We just turned into a freaking Sith. Look at that. We're Count Dooku. We are straight up Count Dooku. Like no joke. We're we're freaking Count Dooku. That's who we are. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're now in Lucifer's. Oh, that's pretty badass. The Count of Box is the... Okay, he's the High Priest. Just a lowly Count, and yet he's the High Priest. Now, that's really interesting. Okay. And the heir right now... Is... Earl... Oh, God, those screams. Earl Osulf of Northumberland. Okay. So, he is the... Uh, the high priest influence, the current influence of the Lucifer Zone. A higher amount of influence will decrease the cost of the various powers available to you and Lucifer Zone. It can also affect the outcome of some powers and events. It also increases intrigue, successful missions. That's right. You have two dark power. Um, so you get some on a monthly basis. Is there a way to see this on the top of the screen? No. Um, I guess it, it probably just, it might show it here. Okay, Abjure Power enables right-clicking the portraits of your prisoners to sacrifice them to Satan in order to a gain dark power. Holy cow. 
summon familiar? What? Demonic possession? Dart, dart, you just get rid of your spouse? Healing? What in the world? Absorb light force. Holy cow, man. What in the world does this even mean? Oh my god, wow. I'm sorry to keep us paused for so long, but this is just really, uh... <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> I am not sure what to think of it. It's kind of, uh, morbid. Okay. Um, a provincial messenger. We'll do that, yeah. So I guess we'll roleplay as just, like, a really evil, uh... You know, Christian under the guy... Or a really evil Satanist under the guise of being a Christian. I guess that's going to be our main thing in this uh, campaign. I'm fine with that, I suppose. Um, that's uh, Man, this is... I mean, it's pretty intense that they have stuff like this in the game now. I quite like it. And I feel like we're just uh, getting started, so that's good. That is quite good. Um, yeah, let's go on Speed 4 so we can get to stuff quicker. Do We, we still don't have a claim. Uh, do we have any better chancellors? No, actually. Um, we can lose health, lose fertility. Let's do that. Okay, so also, I think I just saw, oh my, that's really good. Look at that. It'll act, it actually, that's a really good quality of life improvement. It shows you what they would be. It shows you what traits that all of these, uh, you know, potential, uh, advisors would be. That's really Quite awesome, actually. We're now known as the Fat. Well, lovely. Um, also, another thing that they've added in the... Oh, okay, my sister in darkness, Countess of Tura, wants me to join her for a lark over... A lark over in Genoa. There's a certain priest and would-be witch hunter who has been a thorn in our side for some time. Is tight. Okay. Sounds good. All right. We found the zealous priest in Genoa praying in sec seclusion. Uh, Yeliza Veda... Is that her name? Yelizaveta snuck up from behind and gave the fool a hard kick in the head. As I gave devotion to Pythias, she proceeded to relieve her. Oh, what the fudge? <laughs> Let's do host a decadent feast in the idiot's, idiot's name. Nice. Okay. That's, uh... Oh my god, that's hilarious. We just gained a hundred dark power. Oh my god, and look at that. Our religion... <laughs> the cross turns upside down. Oh, hey, I need to be paying attention to other stuff. Why not? Uh, primogenitor is not an option. What? Oh, we already have primogenitor. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, cool. Then we don't need to worry about that, I guess. Uh, I think we should go ahead and do this if people will be willing to do so. Oh my god, that's so nice that they have this now. And it shows... Oh... That's beautiful. That's really good. I like it. I like that a lot. Oh, what is this? Satan's favors. Abjurer. Okay, the great and mighty Satan has given us so much. Now it's time for us to offer a gift in return. Okay, capture and sacrifice a dwarf, Abjurer. Um, okay, now that's a little bit intense. A dwarf. Do we have a dwarf? Uh, we need to find characters. Dwarf. Oh my god. This is... Dieste is not my family. You may think, hey, that's your family? No, we have Deste. This is Dieste. Where are you? Heir to the barony of Este. And where is that? The barony of Este, which is over here. It's in my province. So that makes sense. That must be where our family is from or something historical like that. Uh, that must be what this means, like, of, uh, Este. Yeah, that must be, like, a, it must be some sort of lore, or not lore, <laughs> historical thing. You don't have any people? That's okay. Any, uh, dudes? Shrewd, cruel, and stubborn. I'm curious if there's a way to, like, get our, get our son involved, too. Like, get him in on it, you know? That'd be pretty funny. Luckily, there's not a time limit or something. Uh, you know, I'll do that. It could be, uh, it could be good. So we're an abjurer. 
and then there's a conjurer sacrifice to Satan so that so at stage one you only really have the uh, the one ability it looks like and so you but you try to use that to earn more we have 138 and we get two a month uh, 750 Wow and we have to be this rank for at least three years okay so I'm starting to get a feel for those works okay cool I uh, I like this. I'm I'm digging this right now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad we <laughs> jumped jumped right in as a freaking Satanist. It's quite interesting. Um, epidemic, smallpox. Yeah, we should probably honestly uh, do something about this, but I I might not. Hmm. Oh, that's a big old. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna not risk it. We have an ambition to pick. Acquire title. Let's do acquire title. Why not? Um, oh my God! Hey, you're a uh, you're a dude too, aren't you? Because you have the hood on. I guess that's a way of a visual indicator, which is actually quite nice. Gilberto. Okay. Um, that is quite nice, actually. That is a visual indicator. Yep, yeah, is a member of Lucifer's own. That's that's completely true. Um. Recruit for Satan. Interesting. <laughs> he has to go. Okay. Um, let's maybe... Yeah, I'm glad I closed the gates. Okay. Uh, what a splendid idea. Oh, idle councilman. That's a really... Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, he, we can't really do anything about that, huh? Um, okay, ambush someone there. Okay. Uh, throw her in the dungeon. Who are you? What is that? What is that? I can't see what that is. Okay, so let's uh, maybe sacrifice her to Satan. <laughs> That's, uh, that could be fun. Huh? Couldn't it? Um, betrothed can marry, go ahead and marry each other. She's all right, actually. It's, it's good enough. Uh, I'll take the prestige, actually. That's actually, uh, oh, you're awake in the middle, okay. The peasants? The peasants are attacking? Okay. Hmm. Oh god, we freaking got our hand chopped off. Gosh darn it. That's annoying. Okay, well, since it did say that our dude thinks that it was her, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Ooh, that's nice. You can sort your prisoners now. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna freaking sacrifice you to Satan. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> no, let's just do this. Alright, she looks dazed as she is dragged to the altar, but you can see dawning comprehension on her face as she is tied down. You ignore... Her begging as chants of praise to Satan build to a crescendo. Finally, it is time you swing the bl your blade in an overhead arc, which ends in Eudocia's heart. That kind of, you know, rhymes in a nice way. <laughs> well, we did that. Nice. Cool. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, okay. Countess of... Okay. That's not good. Okay, we should confront her. Sure, why not? Not sure why that's going to lead us down towards. Well, whatever. Let's get our light infantry up. We're still waiting on, like, in terms of, like, other stuff that we're going to be doing, uh, we're still waiting on stuff. I suppose we could try to go to war with uh, one of these guys. How many troops do we have? Not a whole lot, actually. Um, how many do you have? <laughs> Can we form an alliance with you? Yes, we can. How strong are you? Okay, sweet. I'd actually, I'd like to get back Brescia and, and Trent, maybe. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm only scarred now. She has, uh... Interesting. So, this Duchess of Tuscany has a... What is this? Okay. Oh, it's a, it was my rival. The Crown of Majesty 
Okay. So she really... That's really interesting. Wow. So apparently there's sort of these little items that you can actually have now that give you, like, different... They give you prestige and uh, opinion. That's really, uh, really interesting. I like that, actually. Is there a way... Do we have anything? No. I wonder how you do those event chains, then. How you get to have one of those. I think we're gonna go ahead and, uh, declare war on you. Du jour Wayne claim. Colin the Duchy of Provence. Okay, let's go over here. Call in our allies. And if he doesn't, he did. But even if he hadn't, we would probably would have been fine with uh, getting a uh, mercenary troop or something. Uh, Beltrano. Okay, cool. I like that. I might actually hire... Who are you? The Duke of Corinthia! You little wanker. Really? You want to fight me, huh? That really pisses me off. Why would you declare war on me? Bruh, that's not cool. Alright, we're definitely going to have to, like... We're definitely going to have to hire some mercenaries now, I think. Okay, mercenaries. Let's go towards, uh... Cost... The Lombard Band. The Lombard Band, go ahead and come over here. Because we're going to have to smash this dude up. This is going to be difficult, actually. Hold on. I have another son. Son, you're already married. You don't come from the Duke of Thuringia. Yes. Duke of Thuringia. Okay, Duke of Thuringia. Do you want to... Yes! Uh, you got to work with what you got sometimes, you know? Is the epidemic gone? It'll be gone soon. Okay, okay. Yo, this game is so fun, man. You just are able to, like, you know. You, I just am able to sink so much time into this game. You, I just lose track of time, honestly. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Okay, so when we finish this, we're going to go ahead and attack into that province. I'm going to go back up to speed four now. So Thuringia should be down here in a bit. It should be fine. Okay... Oh, that's annoying. Don't do that. Don't don't press claims on me. It's annoying. You wanker. He's a patrician in Genoa. Hmm. At some point we'll have to eat Genoa. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So Mr. Lombardy, uh, not Lombardy. I'm Lombardy man. Thuringia man. What do you uh, What are you doing? What do you think? You're going to Florence. Okay. And uh, we're going to be done with this soon. A few cycles. And then we're going to attack them and hopefully be able to stop them. Alright, there we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, and smash them. It's planes, which is good. Oh, look at that. It shows the river crossing penalty now. It's so good. It's so good that they took like that from EU4 and added it to this. And the... Just the battle modifier showing you all the modifiers and stuff and when the battle will be. That's really good. Okay, so your son comes... Okay, my son wants to... Yeah, sure, son, I'll let you go. Actually, hey, I gotta open the gates now. Okay, cool. Um, he's back. What? A peasant girl? You're married! <laughs> she can stay, but no one else has to know. Really? You know what? Screw it. Screw it, son. You can do whatever you want, bruh. I'll <laughs> live and let live, right? And you do it. You know what? Just have some fun, son. You're you're young, you know. Okay, so yeah, that's so nice that they they have that in the game now. I'm super glad to to hear that. Uh, we would like you we would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of. You want to back 
is that for me or for you? Sure, I'll I'll help with that. I don't really care. It'll help uh, upset the balance of power that my allies have, so that's fine, I think. Duke of Corinthia. I'm going to have to deal with you at some point here, but for now, let's go to... Floor. No, let's go and siege down the rest of uh, Brescia. And that'll be good. If we can siege down the rest of Brescia. It'll only take a couple ticks, honestly, so... My brother in darkness, Count Guiges the Fat, was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. Impromptu orgy. What a lovely idea. I'll wear my Russian cod piece. Interesting. Uh, what the fudge, man? A loud midget? Interesting. So I became brawny. That's good. I don't know how I got that from being part of an orgy, but I'll, you know, whatever. Cool. Well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching so far. Uh, this has been quite entertaining so far, actually. I'm enjoying it. We're doing normal CKs2 stuff, but with a whole other layer on top, and I kind of like that. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. So either way, um, this is a new series in its infancy, so it really does mean a lot if you leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, plus, it'll help you find more episodes of this one uh, when they come out, if you would like to. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next, ooh, excuse me, next episode. Bye-bye.